Welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to a new a new weekly update from me, Martin. Um, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for regular everyday users. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to all of my supporters, uh, especially all the new support supporters this week. Uh, and an extra special th thank you to one of my p Patreon supporters who gave me advice on setting up this ca camera. I'm trying to some something new. Uh, let me know if it looks better. Um, this is an old DSLR, so I'm not sure whether the quality actually is better than my webcam, um, but we'll give it a go. Now, I'm sure you're all here for the pagination, but first, this week, I need to say I organized a crash jam, um, basically a small event for developers to port and uh, fix crash problems for the, the 1.1 release. Um, it means that when 1.1.1 comes out, it should have about 26 more fixes, crashes, and other serious issues. Um, we need to do more of these kinds of things, I think, because uh, there's a lot of crashes in Inkscape that still happen, especially if you're on things like win Windows. Um, so let me know if you think I should spend my time on things like crash fi fixes. Um, it's, I think it's important for the project, uh, but I definitely want to follow whatever uh, you, my dear users, think uh, is the most important thing to spend time on. Okay, so to the actual main event. This is week six of the multi-page pagination. Um, thank you to the people who t tested last week's build. Um, I'm going to make the link generally av available now so that everybody can uh, try, try it out. Um, you don't expect much from it though because it's uh it's on a long journey and yes it does some things now but um you're probably going to expect it to to do more before before we're done here um most of the work this week has been back end stuff it's basically beefing up how the pages function internally in, in the code uh, but the thing that you're probably going to no notice in the builds is the uh, page navigation this is at the bottom of the status bar there is a, uh, a little uh, drop down that allows you to pick which page you want to be on and a forwards and a, a previous and next page uh, button either side of it. And this allows you to navigate the pages. When you select a page through this uh, st status bar widget, excuse me, um, it focuses on that page and zooms in. So it doesn't matter how big the page is or like where it is on, on, on the canvas, it'll move you to that page directly. Um, I also had uh, a couple of meet meetings with some Inkscape designers, uh, Adam and Jorge, uh, about how the tool should work. And generally the consensus is that it will work a lot like uh, Adobe Illustrator's artboards and a lot, m a lot like a lot of other programs pages. Um, nobody can agree what the words should should be for any of this, this stuff. Uh, Tool-wise, uh, page tool will allow you to uh, draw a box and then there'll be a toolbar for various other editing options. Um, thank you to Jorge for, for uh, doing the mock-ups for, for, for those things. Right now there's a menu en entry in the edit page pages that allows you to add new paint pages, um, but that is uh, temporary. It's basically a development fe feature so that I can test by creating multi-page documents. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's a lot more work to, to do, um, more graphical user interface work, so hopefully next week you'll actually see more of this tool fun functioning. I've actually written some of the code already for, for doing the, the actual drawing of the, the boxes, uh, but it's not ready. It doesn't, it doesn't function yet. So um, that's about it. Thank you very much for, for watching this update video and I hope you have a very good week.